Hey, everybody, it's your old pal Jazz McKay, the deplorable patriot. You know, liberals aren't just wrong. They can be really bad people. Yeah, I got an example coming up next. Before we go any further, please subscribe to my channel and like and share this video. Also, visit my Facebook page at The Deplorable Patriot. I'll leave a link in the comments below. Kim Hunt of St. Anthony, Minnesota, is a registered nurse at a local hospital. She works in the COVID-19 ward. Now, that's a tough job, and Kim is, uh, well, she had not been able to leave all of that at work and enjoy the holiday season. So, in order to get her into the Christmas spirit, her husband decided to hang a few lights on their house. Now, to me... It looks like a fairly modest display, but, but it is nice. It really is. Now, not long after finishing the job, they received an anonymous letter, supposedly from a, a neighbor. Now, this letter, folks, this letter is dripping with sanctimonious malice and so much overall snootiness that, to me, it characterizes today's liberal ruling class. Check it out. I couldn't help but notice your Christmas lights display. During these unprecedented times we have all experienced challenges and casual words just don't describe what we are feeling. The idea of twinkling colorful lights are a reminder of divisions that continue to run through our society, a reminder of system biases against our neighbors who don't celebrate Christmas or who can't afford to put up lights of their own. Oh man. So, um, unless everyone chooses to celebrate Christmas, then nobody should celebrate Christmas. Unless everyone can put up Christmas lights, then nobody should put up Christmas lights. It, unless everyone can afford a car, then nobody should have a car. This is liberalism on display for you to see, to witness, to, to, to gaze upon in all of its uh, most nasty, snotty, snooty attire. This is their version. This is liberal diversity. This is liberal tolerance for you on display right here because of liberal tolerance and liberal diversity. Nobody should have anything. Um, the condescension, though, and the progressive preachiness then gets cranked up to 11. We must do the work of educating ourselves about the harmful impact an outward-facing display like yours can have. I challenge you to respect the dignity of all people while striving to learn from differences, ideas, and opinion of our neighbors. Once properly educated about cultural and economic differences, everyone will conform to political correctness with 100% forced cooperation. And then, no brain-dead liberal will ever again have to bitch about Christmas lights. We must come together collectively and challenge these institutional inequities, St. Anthony is a community welcoming of all people and we must demand better for ourselves. Signed, your snotty, bleeding heart liberal neighbor. A welcoming community for all, except for those people who celebrate Christmas. <laughs> Christmas, indeed. This has been all over Twitter the past couple of days, and uh, the uh, Daily Mail even uh, wrote an article about it, and a lot of people have responded. I mean, a lot, including former Baltimore Ravens quarterback Derek Anderson. He chimed in on Twitter saying, saw this coming a long time ago. If I can't have it, nobody can. Or, they, they, if they have it, we all deserve it. That's not life. Other people said that the letter made them want to send more Christmas lights to Kim and her husband in St. Anthony so they could double down on their display. Now, I'm the kind of guy, this is God's honest truth, a little insight into your old buddy, the deplorable patriot, Jazz McKay. I'm the kind of guy, I, 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 I would never, I would never, if I got a letter like that, I would, I would never double down. I would quadruple down times a thousand. Uh, something like this. Amazing in grace, how sweet the sounds they get saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Oh,
Don't you just love that? <laughs> that is so awesome, man. I just, I love it. That's going to do it for me this afternoon. God bless America. Death to the new world order. This is Jazz McKay, the deplorable patriot, signing out. And I will see you. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure and like this video, subscribe to my channel, share to your social media, and leave nasty comments below. God bless America, and death to the New World Order.